Good morning, this is Pastor Robinson bringing you the thought of the day. And I want to read you a quote today from Renee Brown. It says, when we deny our stories, they define us. But when we own our stories, we get to write the ending. We get to write the ending. How many of you know that we all have some baggage from our past? And that's the kind of baggage you do want the airlines to lose. But what we do is we typically do some type of mental gymnastics and we try to brush it under the rug. But if you do that with your past, what happens is then we begin to become defined by our past. But I've got an idea. Instead of sweeping it under the rug, how about if we begin to own it? I mean, own it. See, the Apostle Paul said over in 1 Timothy, he said that he thanks Christ Jesus who has counted him faithful and put him into the ministry. Then he goes on to say that he knows he's not worthy to be in the ministry, but that by God's grace, he has become what he's become. On top of that, the Apostle Paul said, I'm not worthy because I was a persecutor of Christians. I, am a blas I was a blasphemer and I've done much evil. But because he owned his past, his past didn't define him. And I want to tell you, if you and I will just own our past, we will be able to write our own ending. Amen. So go on out there today. Own your past, but you don't have to be defined by it. Write your own ending. In Jesus' name, amen.